Now, Sports Team 8, powered by your local Connecticut Chevy dealers. Hello there, and welcome to another big night of sports here on News 8. I'm Eric Dobratz. This is Bob, Bob Rumble here. Yeah. yeah, hey. John Pierce, a little under the weather, but we have a ton get of stuff. Get better, John. Yeah, get better. Yeah. He's home watching right now, John. UConn men's basketball team taking the court for the first time this year. Well, I got my sneakers on, so I'm, I'm thinking Did you play? That's right. That's right. But no, they, they don't need me at this point. Plus, our high school game of the week. Woo! And the night on ice. But let's start with beginning of a new era, the Dan Hurley era. Yeah, stores. that's right. Chances for UConn fans to get a look at head coach Dan Hurley making his debut at Gamble against Southern Connecticut in an exhibition. Senior Jalen Adams did not start tonight, but did play. Remember, he violated a team rule last month, so he's yep. sitting out. Owls got off to a fast start. Isaiah McLeod with the three. He had 19 points. The Owls are up 7-2. to Coach Hurley saying, what's going on? He didn't like this either. Look at right CJ Seaforth, the Hamden Good product. One. Transferred from Iona after one year, gets the ski Swish. steal. Buries the three, 17 to 11. Owl C fourth. What? Had seven. Yeah, Huskies start to heat up. Terrence Smith joined the Huskies after a couple wow. years at Duquesne. The nice move in the foul. He had 12. Then on the break, Smith pushes it up, kicks it over to Altari Gilbert. They hope he stays healthy this year. Yes. Huskies up 52 to 40 at the half. Jalen Adams played 20 minutes tonight, scored 16. We've seen this a move a bunch of times. Ooh, Look at that off the glass. Baby. Huskies win 96 to 64. Prior to tonight's tip-off, UConn honored Southern coach and former Husky Scott Burrell, back for his time in stores, joined by his lovely wife, two kids, and the rest of the family. It was quite an honor. Nice video tribute for Burrell. They put it's his jersey. Yeah, look at that. They put his jersey number 24 on the wall of Gample Pavilion tonight. Look at that. Yeah. Right beside other greats. Yeah, right beside the other greats in the Huskies of honor, Burrell. One of the early key recruits for Jim Calhoun, the Hamden native, really helped put Connecticut basketball yep. on the map. Calhoun there to talk about Burrell. One of the great athletes in Connecticut history. First round baseball and basketball. Only guy in history. And the most importantly, he came and helped us get into a new direction, national scene. And uh, besides that, I love him. He's one of my favorite kids. Nine years in the NBA, championship with Michael Jordan. He's a very special guy, and he's a little bit overdue, but the fact he's here is the most important thing. That's right, Coach. A little bit overdue, but a great night for a great guy. Was, yeah. <laughs> Time for high school football and our game of the week. You know, it's not often that two undefeated teams meet this late in the yeah. season, you know, but it's what happened tonight. All right. It's a big Naugatuck Valley League battle, 7-0 Woodland. Looking for the upset. They're all ready of 7-0 and, of course, perennial powerhouse Ansonia. After a great kick return, the Hawks cash in. Tyler Belinsky to Justin Marks for the touchdown. 7-0 Woodland. Rup row Hawks are done. This time, Belinsky rolls out. Fires to Jason Palmieri. Races right down the sidelines, knocked out. He thought he had a TD, but they scored the next play. 14 to nothing, upset, maybe? Mm, well, the Chargers have other ideas. First quarter still down 14-8, Shaquem Harmon. Is he good? <laughs> Look at that. He Speed. is so shifty. Oh, could he fly? He goes down to get the extra point. They're up 15 to 14. The fog rolls in. You can barely see the other sideline when Tom Brockett and company. Third quarter, Shaquem again. This time he waltzes in for the touchdown. 21-14, Ansonia. And even when things go wrong, they go right. <laughs> Oops. Sheldon Schuler bumps into Harmon. Yeah, so what? I'm going to take it into the end zone. That made it 36-14, Ansonia. Chargers win it 36-20 to go to 8-0. and oh, Nice bounce back from being down 14 to nothing. Hey, coach? Yeah, I mean, it was good. You know what? We got a young team, and... Uh, you know, we had a feeling that we were going to face some adversity tonight. Do you want to get down 14 points in the first five minutes? No. But, uh, you know, our kids battled back. You know, we didn't catch any breaks in the first half. And uh, I thought we collected ourselves and kept playing real hard. It was a lot of pressure, but, you know, my, I believe in my team, you know. And I always know we could come through it, come through with the win. We just got to keep getting better. You know, we, we made some mistakes tonight. But, uh, you know, there's no substitute for playing hard. And I thought our kids just kept playing. What's going to be the key for Antonio as you guys move forward? Because obviously you got, you know, three games, two, three games left. And you got to get ready for the postseason. Mm, toughness. Toughness and a lot of rest because we got a lot of banged up guys over there. <laughs> The next generation of great running backs. Man. Right next up for the Chargers is Seymour. They dropped a two-point decision to unbeaten Naugatuck yesterday while the Hawks head to Oxford. All right, who wants to welcome us to their town next week? Here you, you're going, sisters. buddy. That's right. I got my sneakers. I'm ready to go. It'll be North Haven or Fairfield Prep. Amity and Hamden with a 7 o'clock start. Wilper crossing hand. Folks, get out there. 
Start voting, WTNH.com. Polls close Wednesday night at 6 o'clock. Eric. All right, a good game in the ECC this afternoon. The cheerleaders are a little trouble with the banner there, but that's all right. The fellas go running through. The Lancers hosting Norwich Free Academy. First quarter, NFA takes lead. Quarterback Elijah Parker fakes the handoff, makes a couple of moves, avoids about five tacklers. 7-0 nice NFA. Yeah, Waterford <coughs> answers, though. Check out Marquis Smith here, Bobby. He's going to catch the ball, a little out pattern. Breaks one tackle. Oh, nice spin move. Turns it back inside. I'm like, where's he going? You know where he's going? The end zone. Touchdown, yeah. Lancers. Yeah, seven to six. Lots of scoring in this one. Cheerleaders were busy. NFA scored the yep. most, though. Kevin Pomeroy from a yard out, 14 to six. NFA. They win at final score, 55 Ouch. to 21. All right, one block in the books. You want to do another one? Oh yeah, let's go get him. All right, one more. We'll hit the ice. Quinnipiac, Yale. When we come back, stick around. The Quinnipiac men's hockey team putting its unbeaten record on the line tonight. 12th ranked Bobcats visiting ECAC rival Harvard. Rand Pecknell's team comes into the game 5-0. and They've scored 21 goals so far this season. 1-0 Bobcats in the first. Alex Whalen behind the net setting up his teammate. Odin Tufto with the goal. Yeah. It's 2-0 Cats. Later in the period, Quinnipiac on the power play. Nice passing and then the one-timer. Brandon Fortunato lets it fly. It's 3-zip. Harvard gets a couple back to make it 4-2. to two. QU gets a little insurance. Ethan DeYoung at the right place at the right time at the net. Bobcats win at final score 5-3. to three. They play at Dartmouth tomorrow night, Bob. Eric, so much for rebuilding, eh? Hey, really. Keith Elaine and his Yale Bulldogs up at Cornell tonight. Down 2-0 in the second period. Big Red looking for more. Morgan Barron finds the net. 3-0 in favor of Cornell. Later in the second, Yale on the power play. Dante Paleco gets the Bulldogs on the board. Cuts it to a 3-1 to one game. Joe Snively would score in a power play later in the game, but it wasn't enough. Cornell goes on to win a final count of 4-2. to two. Eric. All right, on the scoreboard tonight, UConn Huskies win at Vermont. Carl L. Meir with the only goal of the game. 39 saves for Adam Huska. Sacred Heart also a win at Bentley. All right, time for a little football now, Eric. You know, this season... Well, it may not be a success on the field for Randy Etzel and his UConn football team, but Randy's had plenty of success stories with his former players, like this guy. Andre Dixon, a former UConn running back and professional football player, has built a successful sports performance business. He's also giving back as a coach. Andre has joined Randell Bennett at Cromwell, at Cromwell, Portland, rather. He is their running backs coach. Randall is a really good friend of mine, you know, since I've been in the state of Connecticut. He's a guy that helps me with my clinics and my camps all around Connecticut with the office alignment. And I saw as a guy that knows his stuff. So he opening uh, with the coaching staff. It was like, Dre, would you love to come help me out? We could use a guy like you with the experience that you have and the knowledge that you have. It's like, sure, man, why not? I thought it was awesome being able to get coached by a person that played at the upper level and in the NFL and learning his, all his tricks and moves and be able to use them during the game. What kinds of things did you learn from him? We learned the spin move, cutbacks and jukes and just little things like that. He's taking it very, very seriously. You know, he's very dedicated to our program. He's very dedicated to our players. So, you know, it's been an easy transition for him. It's always giving back to the kids, giving back to athletes. I mean, and then it's the game that saved my life, being football, and I get to give back day in and day out doing football. So I love it. And he talked about it saving his life and Coach Etzel as well. Andre sure is loving it. Cromwell Portland is seven up and one down after last night's 48 to 18 victory over Morgan. I got to work on that eye black like Justin, you know, to get uh, next week for the show. Next week. Be That's ready. it. Let's do it. Hey, That's speaking it. of his former team, the Huskies play Tulsa tomorrow night at yep. 7. Yale in action tomorrow at 1 o'clock. They play Brown, also University of New Haven, and Southern in action. We'll have all the highlights uh, tomorrow night. Yeah, we'll, we'll take care of you, folks. Join us after the game at 7-ish. Uh, 7 o'clock is, yeah. All right. Yep. Hey, thanks for watching for Bob Rumbold. Get better, John yes, Pearson. Yes, please, John. See you soon. Have a great Thank night, everybody. everybody.